and Champion Partners. If you're a veteran looking for opportunities in Tennessee, please join me for Hey folks, we're here at the Sportsman's Expo and as you can see here we've got uh, Edgemore Outdoors in the background and, and uh, Mr. Williams himself, he's got several racks of baits and uh, uh, you know, if you're you're gonna miss this. If you're not here, you're gonna miss it. So uh, uh, we'll we'll be showing this Thursday night. So uh, looks like we're fixing to get some crowded. Uh, you know, it's gonna get crowded here shortly. So uh, uh, this is all the preempt. We'll we'll catch y'all Thursday night. They say you catch them fish and they'll lose about a pound before somebody gets there. Because they'll say, well, I, I, when I weighed that thing in the boat, it weighed enough for us to be six pounds. I told him. 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 I called him a few months ago, but he didn't answer. I left him a message, told him to come down here. He called him a house in Florida. Folks, this is just some uh, video of these humongous deer, uh, beautiful looking animals here that uh, that they've harvested there. and, and uh, out of Canada and Kansas and uh, all that kind of stuff. I mean, uh, they've got a beautiful display up right here. Well, that's a big deer right there, Wes. Man, that's a monster. Hey, Wes. Killed in Kansas. Oh, that's a big one. Mm. Man. Yeah. Amazing how big the rack on them deer can get. Mm hmm. How many sure spots is. can be on it? Yeah. Huh. Beautiful animal, beautiful. Okay, see, this is a bigger lure than anything I ever catch. <laughs> I'm here at Corey Allen's table and just give you all a quick glance at some of these lures that uh, he's fishing with. and. And uh, you know, <laughs> pretty good sized baits, some of them. So, uh, just wanted to let you all see that. And, and uh, like I said, hopefully, we can get him on the show here in a few weeks. They can tell us about his big musky catch, and we'll go from there. Hey, folks, I'm here uh, on the outside of the show right now. We've got Reynolds Racing the Marine here. We've got a couple of Allison boats. Uh, 
going to show them and we're going to go down here to Phoenix and talk to Mr. Reynolds. There we are looking at the Phoenix boat. Man, that thing sure is pretty. Sitting out here, that sun glistening off that metal flake. So, uh, try to get you a good picture of that. Now, folks, this is one of the side-by-sides that they're selling that Reynolds Race in the Marine, and that thing's red and trimmed in black, and boy, it is beautiful. Uh, nice looking vehicle uh, for you uh, ATV users. Uh, nice, nice thing. You need to check these out down at Reynolds Race in the Marine. Got a uh, aluminum camo boat here from Reynolds Race in the Marine, so. Uh, Get down that way if you're interested in that kind of boat. Check that out. Was it? Yeah. All right, folks, I'm up here at Norris Lake, and I'm with Bill and Wesley, and uh, we're going to go out here and try them. The water's raised up quite a bit, but we're going to see if we can get a bite. So stay tuned. We hope to get you some film. Remember the sponsors, and let's go fishing. What do you say, guys? Hey, let's go. All right. <laughs> Got the first fish of the day on you. Don't know if it's a rock fish or a small mouth or what it is, Wes. Feels pretty good. Might be a big old drum. I don't know. Well, if that, we have to call you Brad Lockett. What I see is acts like a, a big old drum. Yeah. Whenever we get it in here, I'll, I'll cut it back on. We got it back, we got it in here. It's a big old rock fish. Yeah, it's an old rock fish. Mm. They didn't want to come up to the surface. One of them old stripers. <laughs> All right, come here. Every time you run your hand down there in front of your face. I'm recording right now. Well, there ain't no need to record this guy. Folks, that dang Wes is fooling around here and caught a fish behind me, and I wasn't supposed to left that fish for you, Wes. Oh, what is it? Huh? What about that? Yeah, look at him there. Uh-huh. Yeah, boy. All right. That's easy right on up here. Got him. All right. Yeah, boy. Twist it around backwards there. You pull it towards you. Good job right there. Atta boy. Alright, back to water. Yeah. Folks, old Bill's got a fish on back here now. They yeah, hit it good, he said. Yeah, it's no good, old buddy. That's good. Oh yeah. Shoot, I see what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah boy. Hold on now, big boy. Hold on. Yeah, that's a big old fish. Got him now, old hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, that's son. <laughs> that's a dad blame you, nice one. You won't find yeah. Shoot, see that way? Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah, buddy. We got one on here. Oh, got him a nice in here. Yep. Look at him in that down there in that water. Look at him. Yeah, you got sure a good picture of him there, Wes. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh that blame it. Bill's missed one too, didn't he? I mean, I wasn't a fan of no fish. I was watching your <laughs> See? one tap me out there. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, Wes. Let's get him up here. Hold on, That's big boy. Fish. That's yeah, it is. Pretty good fish, baby. Yeah, oh, ain't he nice? Yeah, boy. Get him, get him out good, Sheriff. He's good, there, old buddy. Look at that. Oh, look at that. We're good. All right, back in the water, Wes. Let's, let's get, let's get him. Bill missed one. And I got a bite. We might be on something here. Yep. Bill's got a good fish on here. We don't know what he is yet. We're gonna <laughs> no, find out, ain't we, Bill? We don't know what he is, but we got something on him, son. <laughs> Got something on here, son. Yeah. It might be another one of them uh, little mouths. Yeah, that's what he that's is. That's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>
Okay, man. Good to see you, bud. All right. Hey, good evening, folks. Welcome to the Let's Go Fishing Show. I'm Steve Cox, your host. And I know it's about halftime on the ball game, so I, you ought to be watching us right now, and then you can go back to the ball game here after we get through talking about this important stuff these gentlemen's got with me. Uh, right quick, uh, I'm going to introduce these guys, and, and uh, then uh, I got a couple of things to tell you right quick, and we'll get back to them. Bud Strader. Bud, glad to have you. Good to be here. Willie Word. And Ronnie Johnson. Glad to have you, Ronnie. Uh, these gentlemen are here with the East Tennessee Sportsman Association, and uh, I'll get back to them here in a couple of minutes, and they can kind of take over and tell us what uh, what's going on and, and uh, what good things they got proposed and all that good stuff. Uh, but first off, I want to thank uh, Craig Witt at Second Baptist Church uh, for inviting me up there to their uh, expo. Uh, my grandson uh, was saved up there uh, Saturday and uh, this tickled me to death. So I uh, uh, definitely want to thank Craig for that and any of you people that were involved in that uh, fish uh, sportsman's expo. I want to give you a word of thanks and let you know that I really enjoyed it and hope you get hope I get invited back next year. Uh, want to say hello to my dad. Uh, had a little sick spell with him yesterday. Had to take him to the hospital, but I got to mention and say hello to him or he'll get mad at me and he'll whip Mike. He won't whip me, but he'll whip Mike, my place. So uh, I don't want Mike to get another whipping uh, for something he didn't have to do. I used to do that a lot, but you and Willie, you know, yeah. when we was growing up, I, yeah, I never done a thing. It's always Mike, right. you know. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> anyway, <you> yeah, <laughs> Dad thought the same thing. <laughs> oh, Mike, I swear, he couldn't do nothing right. But anyway, uh, uh, Polly, uh, Nichols, uh, I hope you're feeling better. I know you were at the doctor today. Bill, I know you're watching after her. And uh, I wanted to say happy birthday to my granddaughter, Samantha and Shanna. Uh, I kind of forgot that last week. And, uh, boy, don't think I didn't hear about it. But uh, anyway, uh, they had a birthday last week, and, and uh, I did forget to mention that Thursday night, but I hope this will make up for it. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just got all of my special things done, and I'm going to just uh, throw out here a couple of things. Uh, these gentlemen are over here, uh, and we've got Liz Phelps is in the background back here, and Liz, good to have you with us. Uh, they're trying to talk Liz into becoming one of the officers, and I think that'd be great myself. Uh, and uh, they can tell you more about what's going on, and... Uh, uh, Willie, you want first shot, your bud, this, whatever. Uh, we're going to put the uh, TWRA is going to put the um, brush out down at um, Big Springs. Uh, starts nine o'clock uh, Saturday, mo uh, Saturday morning. Yes, sir. And uh, everybody needs to come out and help and uh, see if we can get some habitat back in this lake where the fish will have a place to hide, the, the fries will have a place to hide where they won't get eat. And um, I've heard that they're going to put the, the Florida strain in the, in the lake, and we need this habitat for them to get a hope and start growing. That's, uh, I've heard the same thing, Willie. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I was tickled to death to hear it, but I did hear the same thing a couple of weeks ago when you guys, uh, bad weather, kept you from showing up last week with me. But I did mention some of that. But if you want to go into more details, uh, uh, you know, just carry right on with it, you know. Well, uh, they don't want you to um, bring your boat. They want you to bring some waders and... Uh, what we did when we put them out on north, TWRA furnished the trees, uh, the cinder blocks, and the rope, and we tied the cinder blocks onto the trees, and then they took them out there and sunk them wherever we wanted them to. So mm -hmm. we need we need all the support we can get down there to help put it in. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, Bud, anything you want to add to that? Well, if uh, 
if you don't show up, I've got a friend that, uh, named Wayne Crabtree, and he's going to put a he gonna put voodoo on you now. He, he's very, he's very good at that. He's done a couple of friends of ours last couple of days, and they've had an awful, awful time. They've got their boat stuff, truck stuff, and tractor stuff. <coughs> Dog bit, it's bad. Now, if you don't, you don't come on out, you're gonna get voodoo. Oh Lord, I don't want to be on that voodoo list. I can tell you that right now. Uh, well, uh, I'll run over the schedule. Uh, I'm going to touch base just a little bit, Willie, on what you're talking about. Uh, the schedules at Big Springs this Saturday, uh, March the 14th at 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. And like he said, they don't want you to bring your boat. They want you to bring some waders, and I plan on maybe some lunch and a pair of gloves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, because uh, uh, and, and uh, what I found out talking with Chris Morton, uh, this is all stemmed from the big bass caught on Chickamauga there. Gabe, uh, uh, King caught the, the uh, big largemouth, and so it's got everybody in a tizzy, and they want to try to extend that, expand the, uh, the Florida strain of bass into Watch Bar and, and Nick and Jack, and, and someone, I even heard Fort Loudon. Have you heard that? Heard that yeah, heard that. That, that came from Region 4. Watch Bar, Nick of Jackson, Region 3, so the boys kind of slipped up early there Saturday. I did, they were talking about it, and I just happened to ask a few questions, so it sounds like they may try them in, uh, <coughs> over at Fort Loudon also. But what the deal is, they got all the aquatic life down uh, vegetation in Chickamauga. They got a place for those fingerlings to hide to get size, right. that the, you know, before they get eat. And... Uh, uh, so uh, they're hoping that we'll support them and get down here and help get this brush in around these boat ramps so that when they release the spanglings, they got somewhere to hide for a few days. And uh, that's the way I understood it. Um, but I think it's a good thing. I may not never see it. You guys may not never see it, but somebody at 15 years from now, they're going to enjoy it. They're going to enjoy it, yeah. you know. Uh, uh, and, and if that thing really kicks off, it might be as quick as 10 years. How long has it been since they put them in the Chickamauga? That, was it 2000? Okay, 14, 15 years. And they've been catching some big fish down there in the last three, four years. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, 10 years, a man can, hopefully this thing will take off and we'll see a, a big difference uh, in the size of fish that we're catching down there right now. You catch... Uh, uh, you know, you go out there and catch 20 pounds, that's four pounds a piece. Really, and, and really what you're wanting is uh, 30 pounds, get them, mm -hmm. huh, well, six five, pounders. Had five that weighed 40 something. Yeah, there you and, go. Uh, West had 30 something pounds, he'd come in third or four. Oh, yeah. 30 something pounds, had a 10 pounder. Yeah, so oh. there you go. That's, uh, that's yeah. what we're after right there. Uh, well, you know, we've got to have that habitat. We do, really. The, for the bait fish, fish to get in, so they these fish will have food to eat. Yeah, they they really do. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention about it too, uh, if you're planning on being down there Saturday at Big Springs, you need to call tomorrow at the TWRA yeah. office there in Crossville and get signed up because they won't let you participate if you don't. Uh, that's what he told me. The there, yeah, right? I've got the right. number right here. It's four two three four seven six. 1404. Chris Morton, he's the TWA, TWRA officer in charge of that. That's 423 476 1404. And it's in the front of your uh, fishing guide. Mm -hmm. That number is. Call down there and ask for Chris and or, or, uh, whoever answers the phone. Tell them what you want to do. You want to sign up for the habitat uh, expansion and, and uh, they'll get you signed up. It's, le it's all about legal. You know, you got to get to dot your I's and cross your T's. Right. So uh, uh, that right there is what I know about the deal. Uh, and uh, what are you thinking? Uh, the next thing that uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about that I had wrote down, notes that I wrote down was uh, uh, the... Uh, and folks, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, we had some people calling in about these TVA 
spring sport fishing survey that they've been doing for about the last 10 or 12 years. Uh, and I had sent some emails, sent them an email asking about the schedule and tried to contact them on the phone and this, that, and the other and never did get any response. And I did get a response uh, uh, this past week and they're not going to have the uh, spring fishing sports survey that's not going to happen this year uh, due to budget cuts. And that's what information I got. Uh, is T TWRA going to take it over? Well, I, I, TWRA probably does some, Willie, but the TVA schedule, the ones I went to uh, last year was down in on Chickamauga when I got to go with them, uh, and it, it was strictly TVA. Now, I'm sure TWRA does some surveying, but I don't know what their schedule is and if they permit people to travel along with them or not. I don't know right. that. I know TVA has and does, but... And they're not doing the survey this year and and uh, uh, because of uh, budget cuts is what I was told and, and uh, uh, you know that, that's the way with everything in the world today the only bad thing I want to say about the deal is whenever you lose something like that you never get it back no. uh, you know it, 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 it just <coughs> don't come back and I thought them guys uh, I thought they'd done a heck of a job uh, I even sent that in my email, mentioned that in the email, and, and uh, I hate to see it go away. Uh, it's good information, and it really lets you know how the, how the reservoir has uh, either deteriorated or improved from year to year. So, uh, but uh, it's not going to happen this year, so if you was planning on signing up, you know, they go all the way from, I think, uh, Kentucky Lake, plumb into up here in Douglas, Cherokee, yeah. and, right. and uh, on up into... Uh, Bristol area at times they don't do those every year but the way I understand that works <clears throat> on the Navigal Lakes Loudon, Watts Bar and on down uh, they do those every year but on the contributory lakes they just do them at spot checking okay they may skip a year or two on one you know right. uh, but anyway that's not going to happen folks but as I hate to say it so uh, uh, and, th and that brings me back to what we talked about earlier before the show with you guys about this East Tennessee Sportsman's Association. Uh, if we had had our ducks in a row and probably been over there to met with them, we might have, they might not have canceled that. We might have cut, might, right. you know, cut somewhere else and kept right. that in. But you got to have the members. Well, I passed out 252 applications up there at the show Saturday. And if we can just get a third of those back in, we'll be happy. But we'd like to see them all come back in because the numbers count. I numbers agree. get stuff done. I agree. The majority gets gets the ruling. So we need people uh, to get behind us and try to get this thing going. Well, another thing, too, Steve, I want to say there is this is not only just for the fishermen. I agree, Ron. This, uh, this is, uh, for what we're fishermen. trying to do. It's for everybody. Any things, sport. Sir. Any sport and things there. Uh, from hunting on. Right. And, uh, I mean, it's, it'd be a big help. And give us a say so. Well, let's put out a call right here, right now, for some, some of these quail hunters coon hunters, uh, some of those kind of people to get involved here yeah. with us, uh, you know, because if we don't say anything, then we've got people that really don't know how, how we feel about things and, and, and may not even hunt or fish or whatever. They, they you know, they may be hikers, golfers, uh, whatever. I'm not downing any of those people, but, uh, you know, and then some of them may not do anything. They're the ones that's making the rules for us to follow. Well, yeah. here a while back, I was down there close to your area, and I pulled down at the ramp, and there was a trail went down through there. Right. And it looked like it could have some bushes cleaned back and a better walkway around through there for the walkers. walkers. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Uh, so, you know, we get on that deal, and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I really don't want to take that call, but... Uh, mm. 
Let me take this. Tell them. Yeah. Did I go where? No. Do you know that you do you know what time it is, Mike? About nine o'clock. Eight thirty. Well what happens on Thursday night every week for the last three years at eight o'clock? No, I'm not in, am I in the show? Uh, Bud, no. Bud Strader said you was going to get another whipping. Who do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I got Bud and Willie and Ronnie Johnson here with me, and, and they're, uh, we've already and turned Mr. you Lee in, and, and, uh, and, and, and Liz is over here with us. So uh, uh, let me get off the phone here and turn your TV on down there and watch it. Okay. All right. Uh, call me in the morning there on your way home or something. All right, we'll see. I apologize for that, folks. <laughs> that dead young Mike. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, it, it, hey, it, it may be, I said a golfer. I'm not down in the golfers. You know, they may need some property to build a new golf course one of these days right. next to the lake. Uh, you know, you never know. And, and but we do need a, a variety of people uh, in this organization uh, to have where we can be diverse and 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 have somebody. You guys can get your people elected and have two or three attendees meetings down here and and voice what what we would like to see them do. Right. Uh, because they're just you know. They're doing they're doing things, but it may not be what we'd all like to have, and and uh, uh, Mike could spend their money somewhere else and do you know if they know, but they may not know, you know. Well, I talked to one of the uh, game and fish <clears throat> up there at um, Expo Saturday, and he said that uh, the people may not realize it and think that their input has any effect on what TWRA does, mm -hmm. but he said they welcome it, and they do a lot of the stuff that people have come up, and they welcome us to come to their meetings and voice our opinion on what we would like to see done. He said they get a lot more done by us doing that than not doing anything at all. I, 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 yeah, I think if I was in their position and could get some feedback, you know, sometimes negative or positive, uh, you know, you're not always going to please everybody, but if you know a little bit of the negative things, then, you know, say, hey, well, that, that didn't go so good last time. Right. Until somebody tells you it's not going good, bud, you, you just keep doing it, don't right. you? Yes, huh? sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, uh, it, this is a good thing, folks, and and we really need we really need to help this organization get started here and and uh, branch out and, and get some hunters in here and, and involved in this thing and and I mean you've got hunter habitat habitat right. you got all this uh, uh, Catoosa area up here at Norse and uh, uh, or out here at Morgan County and then what's that up here? Uh, Central Peninsula up here on right. North, and you know all these islands down here on Watts Bar that they allow hunting and stuff yeah. on. You know, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that the hunters What's could that help one us up with. Up Union County, a big uh, shoot, I, they've got one on yeah. about big, everyone. Uh, something big, big, big South Point. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's over here in Scott County, yeah. going yeah. out to Scott yeah. County there. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. you know, there's a lot of TWRA land that's managed by them that for hikers, boaters, canoers, fishermen, hunters, horseback riding, I've heard they've got that out there, Big South Fork, uh, uh, the scenic trails and stuff, you know, so. The four-wheelers? The, yeah, four-wheelers. Yeah, four I mean, yeah. folks, it, it, it just involves every one of us, you know. One boy's out there tell me, he's a coon hunter, he said uh, um, they're closing property off where they can't, they have nowhere to hunt. But I've heard the yeah. same thing. I've it's worked with a couple of them boys at Coon yeah. Hunts, and, and uh, yeah. Having a hard time of it. And it's the same thing with <clears throat> anything we got is getting restrictions on it. You're getting restrictions yeah. on yeah. it, bud. You're exactly right. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and, you know, that's why we got to have a voice 
and, and they're not going to pay much attention to a whole group of people, and it's hard to get your point across when you've got uh, 100, 300 or 400 people in a room, and they like to meet with eight or ten of them and two or three of you guys, right. you know, and, and uh, that's... Uh, uh, that's the way we need to do it, and, and it, right. but we need them two or three to be supported with <clears throat> three or four thousand, right. you know, and uh, uh, get you guys down there at these meetings, and, and, and then when you have your meetings up here with everybody, you're going to say, hey, now, what do we need to ask for, or what, do we, what would we like to see done, and, uh, and, and pass that word along to them. Right. Well, you know, uh, we work with TWRA on the smallmouth up there on Norris. Right. And you can see what an improvement yourself. You can yeah. see what an improvement. Yeah. Uh, us putting those Christmas trees out up there and doing stuff like that help the smallmouth fishing on Norris Lake. Uh, I, Willie, I believe it did. I, I was, I like to see that uh, size limit uh, change over, you know, in the summertime we're protecting them. Uh, you only allowed one, right. what is it, 21 or 20, 21 inches, one per person per day is all you allowed. And then in the fall of the year and spring of the year, uh, you're allowed five, you know. And uh, uh, I don't know a lot of people that brings those fish home to eat them anyway. Right. You know, uh, I, uh, that I know of. But uh, still yet, that, that, that helps uh, uh, in the tournament fishermen and then in the summertime in the heat rather than losing one. Uh, because of uh, lack of oxygen in your live well, or either you got him on a string or something, you're just not allowed to keep but just right. that one, you know. So I think that was a big help. I was really uh, uh, pleased with that for sure. Um, you know, the big push is to get people to sign up on this thing and and and, and get us some hunters and and golfers and high, uh, people that walk trails and. And just uh, everybody needs to belong to this organization. There's no reason if you're using the outdoors for anything at all, you need to be any a, sport. Any sport you need any to be sport. a member of this organization. Well, yeah. What saying is, if you're not a part of the solution, you. you're part of the problem. Well, there you go. Well, I mean, like you know that. Yeah. That's the way right. the people on the pontoon boats think. They get out there and pleasure ride. I right. Mean, it helps. You know, it, they get a pleasure out of that, and this would help them too. Well. That comes back to Ronnie, just what you said there. Uh, uh, they, you know, had some callers about these uh, boat ramps, and I passed this information along, you know. Uh, they wanted to get a, a floating dock up at Little Emory. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they call it, and I can't think the name of that road through there, but that's what they call it. But, uh, you know, the guy told me, he said, bottom line, if, if you don't complain about it, you're not going to get anything that's done. Right. And you've got to have a, he said, you've got to have people calling in up there and asking them when they're going to do something and, and what we need to do it, but now that, you know, to get it done. And, and uh, uh, I did get that at, down here at Big Springs. They told me they had over $30,000 in that facility down right. there. Got a nice ramp, uh, or got a nice ramp, but they got a walkway, uh, wheelchair accessible. Uh, and a floating dock out there and the whole nine yards, you know, and that guy told me he had they, it was about thirty thousand uh, dollars. Matt Cleary was in charge of that and uh, to get that in. So, you know, uh, it, you've got to have people that's that wants it. And, and Ronnie, just what you said, everybody that puts a boat in uses that facility. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Huh? You know, they are not necessarily fishermen. Every no, one of them. It's not all fishermen. And uh, so we can't lay it all off on us. No. But. Uh, uh, yeah, because the, you know the jet skiers, the pleasure riders, uh, uh, pontoon boats, and that kind of thing, and it's good to have the facility. But there's nothing wrong with having another one up the road about 15 miles. Right. Well, you know. there was a bunch of people wanting a ramp put in up there uh, below us, below Fowler. Yeah, they're in Cold and, Creek, I think. And so. we yeah. uh, we went to TWRA, I mean TVA. We got the ramp in there, and then we wanted. Some lights nice. out there. Yeah. So we got we got mm. with the city of uh, the Follett. They put us lights out there. Mm. Well, there you go. That's a. I mean, you know, it, that just shows you you can get things done. You know, if yeah. you got the right channels and enough support from the from the people, because uh, uh, it just rolls uphill that way. Instead of all of it being done away with and let go, you know, we got got a little say so in what we 
you know, you can at least voice it and say, hey, we'd like to see this done. It may not never happen. But if you don't say something, they definitely ain't going to nothing happen. Well, if you're out here and you see a person coming at you, you don't think nothing about that one person. But you see 50, 25, 50 people coming at you. Mm -hmm. You think you're in trouble. Yeah. Probably are. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's yeah. just like, you know, yeah. numbers count. And right. we need the numbers yeah. to get this going. Well, if we got a good good backing for, for our spokesmen, spokespersons, whoever they may be, uh, and and they you know and they they're dealing with two or three of you guys and back here behind the background, you know these four or five hundred or three or four thousand supporting them, you know that's a, that's a pretty good sized little strength and numbers. Strength yeah. and numbers yeah. You know that's well, exactly right. when this one was in Clinton, we had at one time we had twenty six hundred and fifty members. That's great. That's great. We we. But, you know, uh, we need to, you, you guys have got this thing opened up. Uh, you, you need that double. There has, know. there has a lot of them passed away, you know. Right. And we need these young people. Agreed. We need to get them involved. Yep. Because it's their future and the future of their kids that we're trying to do. I mean, <clears throat> I don't have to buy a license no more, but, uh. You know, there's a lot of people out there have to buy a license. Yeah, I agree, Willie. And, 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 uh, yeah, it's to help the future. Yeah. It, it, it really. Uh, it's getting old, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not as uh, old as you, though. Uh, <laughs> folks, if you're watching and you've got some questions or something you'd like to ask these gentlemen, uh, please call in. Let's get the phones going and, and uh, you know, w w we really need everybody that, that's watching the show to help push this thing, talk to your friends, neighbors, uh, and, and, and help us get the word around. Yeah, we went, <clears throat> we went to a TWR meeting here in Knoxville, and uh, they really, they're really open to, to listen to us and to work with us, and, but yet there's a, there's a voice in numbers. The more the number, the, the bigger the crowd, the better the party. Right. The better the show, and so we'd really love to have you help us, and, uh, and be with us. Well, I, I agree with that 110 percent. I surely do. Probably uh, pretty tall right there. Yeah, probably it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a call. Hello, caller. Hey, Steve. This is Jeff down Auburn Springs. How are you? Hey, Jeff. Good, buddy. How about you? I'm doing good. I sure did see a happy papa up there Saturday evening late. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That dad Blaine West made the, the best decision he'd ever make in his life, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. I told him Papa was real proud of him. Uh, we, we all proud of him. Um, got an application here that you give us ready to put in the mail. Got a good <coughs> group of guys there that's heading this up, a lot of well-known names. And like you say, the uh, you know, there's strength in numbers. We get this thing backed up and get it going. That uh, the, uh, I went through and, and talked about all your sponsors was up there. That uh, the uh, present and the past one sure did uh, like meeting them and talking to them. And these people need to get out there and, and see all of them and thank them for supporting you on these shows. If it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be sitting there now. You got that and, right, buddy. That's right. Oh, you know, there's, there's looking at your sponsor list. Don't need to go anywhere else. You know, you can <laughs> you, just about anything that you need other than some groceries, you probably find some groceries at some in places. I'm going to try to get Food City online. There you go. I feel different. Hit them up. Yeah, there you go. They uh, come back in there after we ate and looked there at your table. And, uh, I looked there and I said, there was Mickey Cox and Scotty Russell sitting there. And I think I heard Bill's feelings. He kind of shook it off. And if Wesley hadn't had that plate full of food right there, he'd come up and whoop me. <laughs> I heard that. Hey, Jeff, so, thank you, buddy. Listen. There, Help help these guys get this thing going, will you? Uh, we, we'll do it. I put the word out. Everybody I've, I've talked to and know of um, that I run into on a daily basis. But, uh, you know, it it, it it can't hurt. You know, we, we've got to have some. That, that uh, uh, TVA thing, it hurt. You know, there was the people didn't realize the amount of fish 
that are in these lakes, I didn't realize that the quality of fish, the, the picture a couple of years ago that I sent you, those smallmouths they shocked up over there on Loudon. Yeah. I would have never dreamed there was that size smallmouth on that lake. Yeah. Never, ever dreamed it. But, uh, you know, they're, they're keeping up with, with a lot of, with that many fish and stuff that they're seeing and they're checking. Um, with, with the runoffs and things that the people are complaining about, um, it's not hurting our fish population that bad from what I can see. It's not good, but I think that's what they're trying to keep a check on, and, and they're cutting their money back in the wrong places. Yeah. Um, I, I think they need to keep that survey going. Um, I don't know, like I say, the, the, the strength of the numbers to get this group up and going, and all it takes is one person the right contact and they can change all their you know all their thinking that uh, but they, they really really need to, to get back in that um back in the twra um you now they're talking about the the prices or licenses and stuff going up um there's a lot of people that hunt and don't fish and a lot of people that fish and don't hunt for years i thought that they need to split that up they won't even talk to you about it. They say they can't. Yeah. I don't understand that part of it, but that's a, a good option that they could do, and they get a whole lot more people that be willing to pay that versus hunting and fishing without the license. Yeah. Well, so, I, I, yeah, I agree with you. That's, mm -hmm. that's why I was talking about getting uh, uh, getting some hunters and, and stuff involved in this organization. They're pushing, and, and then that way it all be in one big you know, b bundle it up, and, and we'd all be helping one another that way. Right. Now, sure enough. One other thing, I'll let you go. <clears throat> Last time I talked to your brother, I, I was trying to get some information out of him on them secret lures things you have been using. Yeah. That, uh, and you know what I'm talking about. Years ago, we, we, we kind of kept that little banjo lure hid. Yeah. And um, all of a sudden, he said you'd come up this guitar. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to say guitar lure. But have you guys perfected that on that TLC rig yet? No. We talk about that off, off air since that's well, a we, secret project. It's a prototype right now. I've got two of them in the boat to try them, but I can't get to the water to try them. But I hope to this weekend. Oh, okay. So All get right. back with me next day. week. Doing good. Then I don't give Mike too hard a time. <laughs> 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 we'll see you guys. Have a good night. Yeah, All you. right, Jeff. Thank, thank you, buddy. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, he, he brought up some good points, guys. What do you think? Right. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. That's uh, oh, uh, I mean, it's a, it, it definitely, uh, uh, we got to get people involved in, in, in not just fishermen. It needs to be everybody. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it just, uh, these commissioners on this uh, TWRA commission, you know, they, those people, a lot of them don't, they, they're not in touch with probably what, what we're doing. And uh, not that they'd be against it, but they just, they don't really, you know, we got to kind of direct them in the right direction mm -hmm. and then they can help us and, and we can help them then. So uh, just give them a hand above mm -hmm. what, what we're looking for, yeah. you know. Give uh, a pat on the back. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get more flies yeah. with honey than you yeah, will man. anything else. Yep. If you've noticed in the last few years, you've been up on the flinch, and you're seeing up there that they're allowing the vegetation and everything to come back. I mean, it's absolutely it, beautiful up there. Yeah. I mean, it's just, yeah. Uh, and I think you're going to let her lake uh, come back to the natural reflection it used to be, and it really, really helpful to, to you, your aquatic life, your bird life, everything. If you're a bird watcher, yeah. You know, it's there and, you know. It's oxygen in the Yeah, water. yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I was out on Dale Holler there back 1st of February and, and stayed three or four days out there with Bill and Paul, and, and we saw uh, uh, some eagles. And, and last spring, I saw some eagles up there in Big Emory. Uh, there's a couple of them flying around yeah. up there. They're kind of territorial, yeah. I've been told. So I figured, I tried to get that one on camera, but... But when you're trying to shoot so far off, that thing's just shaking. So I never could find it. So I'm getting <laughs> on that camera. I was zooming out there, way out there, you know, trying to get a good picture of him. And they, that, my breathing. Is just, but anyway, I saw him up there, and and uh, I was trying to get the camera on him, and never did. But you know that kind of thing. Uh, you know, they, they, 
what they're doing is doing is doing good, and and we just need right. to make sure they keep on doing it and not cancel these programs out. Do a little gooder. Yeah, do a little better. Do a little gooder, <laughs> gooder, gooder. <clears throat> and that kind of thing. But uh, you know, we'd just like to say, callers, I uh, wish you'd call in and give us your what you think and what you can do to help us and uh, uh, help push this thing for us and get get these guys some support. You know and uh, that kind of thing. And then there you go, uh, Willie, you brought up the, the thing about showing up down here to put this brush in. Uh, you know, if you can be there, and, and I can't be there at Big Spring, but I'm planning on being there at Caney Creek. And if something changes that I can be there Saturday, I'll be there Saturday at Big Springs. You know. Well, I'm going to try my best to be there Saturday. Yeah, uh, I, I, I hope I can. You know, I'd kind of planned on it, but uh, that'd be a good thing, and uh, I'm gonna break. The, I'm gonna take my boat because I want to slip out there and film back t towards the bank. <laughs> I may have to put in somewhere else, bud. Uh -oh. This key is programmed as a line key as displayed. Uh -oh. Enter the number for the line key. Uh oh, what did I do, Herschel? Now let me try. It. Okay. My fault, I was cutting in too quick. All right, here we go. That wasn't for us, maybe. But uh, anyway, we got to keep, keep, you know, get people to show up and help out on these things, and, and that'll show them that, that we're really, in, I'm enthused about them putting these Florida strain of bass right. in there. Right? Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, I asked the question three years ago, uh, you know, how come we couldn't, they, I, well, I had, uh, Mike Jolly on over here, and I asked him, uh, uh, you know, what the deal was, and he said, well, we just don't think right now. We're kind of waiting to see how they turn out at Chickamauga, and they was doing good, and he said, I don't know, you know, the, 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 the water temperature, the way I understand this, may be a little warmer. In other words, the, the weather doesn't get as cold in Chattanooga as it does in Knoxville. So, Somewhere between here and there, there's a fine line. Well, in other words, it might take. It ain't that far on the map. Well, I, I know it ain't that far on the map, but anyway, uh, weather-wise, in other words, a fish in Chickamauga may gain two pounds in a year, and up here at Watts Bar, he may only gain a pound and a half yeah. with, due to the colder water. Now, that's kind of the way I got it figured, but I don't know if that's well, from true. from what I hear, uh, Watts Bar didn't get any colder than Chickamauga this year. I well, I understand From that too. The guys that I talked to that went down, down there, there and, yeah. and checked the water temperature. Uh, and well, uh, I don't know. That's just that's just kind of what I got from from talking with them, but with the the biologist. You know, when he's over here a couple of three years ago, uh, Tom was and. And uh, we was talking about it after the show, and I said, "Why can't we get that in Watts Bar?" Well, we just right now we just haven't proved ourselves that they'll survive, you know. And uh, so I don't know, but I'm well, glad know, they're going to try it. I at really one point, the uh, Chattanooga Bass Association they they bought it. Yeah, self. that's yeah. what I they bought it herself as a, and went together as a group. Charlie Oldell yes, told sir. me they was involved in buying yeah. those things, and 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 uh, him and a group of people, and uh, with a group of people, yeah, and. Uh, uh, they bought them and, and had them brought in here and, and put them in their cell, right. you know. And uh, that, so was, the, that was the beginning of it. And then mm -hmm. after that, it branched out. And yeah. After I think after they saw that it was working, they went ahead and then they started the program where they was stocking them. Well, that's, so that sounds good. To me. Uh, the only difference between us and Chickamauga on what's far is is the piece of concrete. Concrete, yeah, yeah, uh, and yeah. so uh, uh huh. I heard that longitude is one of the things that they said was the difference, but yeah. we're we're not that far off. We're, I believe, we're right there. Yeah, I, I agree, yeah. uh, uh, but I know exactly what you're saying. And uh, well, there were several nine pounders caught out of the dam this year. Yeah, yes, sir. Out, out of the dam. There. Of course, I think maybe they were brought back from the lower side of the concrete, but. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, they're still mm -hmm. there. Yeah, I agree. So, Herschel, you gonna let us get a drink of water? Come back about a minute. Okay, then for when you get ready, let us know. Uh, yeah, that, there were some nice fish caught on the lower end of what's part mm -hmm. this year. Uh, sure, or last year, they sure have been. Well, they've been. We've been having a a monthly tournament. It's on the second Wednesday 
of the month now uh, was put on by the bait box there and uh, they had seven boats yesterday and I think uh, the Ray County subsoiler he won mm -hmm. it but uh, that's old, mm -hmm. old Eddie Hagler and, and Bo Cephas but uh, I think maybe there's a little, little mm -hmm. question about that. I think maybe they caught one of our fish that we was counting on. <laughs> so, <laughs> but poor Eddie got dog bit. Yeah. Yeah, he's bad at the ramp. Uh, Lord sent a dog and it bit him <laughs> for lying. <laughs> All right. How much? What did weight? What was the weight down there yesterday? Nine fifty. Nine fifty three. Nine fifty three. Two fish. Two fish. Two fish. Two fish. Huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Give us a minute, Herschel. All right, we're back. Uh, Bud, you and Willie got got about eight minutes. All we got left. Uh, you need to tell people where we can where they can pick up the application. You got all the. Okay, uh, I'll tell you where I've got. Call some. me. Yeah, go go right uh, ahead. My phone number was just on the screen. Or Bud, uh, you can get a hold of Bud, or me. Um, my number is 865-803-2317. Mine's 865-466-7451. All right, he's got it back up on the screen right there for you. You can go ahead and talk, tell people what you want to do, and there's the contact numbers to get a hold of you guys. You know, folks, please uh, get a hold of us and join this because we need all the help we can get. Uh, it's going to be a good thing for not only us, but our kids and our grandkids. Agreed. Uh, don't forget, you know, we handed out, we told you 252 applications up there Saturday. Uh, and I hope we get some of those back in. If you're not going to use it, give it to your friend. Maybe he will. Uh, but uh, there is some applications at Edgemore Outdoors, Reynolds Racing Marine, uh, Citizens uh, First Bank, Oliver Springs, Oak Ridge and Harriman. Uh, the sign shop in Harriman. Uh, all right, my my excellent control room operator said that if you want to download one after tomorrow, at home on your computer, you go to the website here at bbbtv.com and you can. What now? TV12 BBB TV12 dot com and download that application and you've got it that's the right. best thing you ever i wish i'd have thought of that Herschel. well how come you're smarter than i am okay don't answer that you tell me after the show uh but <laughs> listen folks Herschel have you signed is, Herschel up? huh have you signed yeah he's up? got he's got his field out in there right mm -hmm. now all right yeah he's uh i couldn't make it without Herschel. he just i mean they no, he just the whiz at this computer and all that kind of stuff. I just throw stuff down and say, can you, yeah, why, yeah. So anyway, that'd be, you can download that tomorrow. And call over here and get the website. Uh, if you didn't get it tonight, call over here tomorrow and get it. They'll they give it to you uh, and, and get you an application so that you can get signed up on this thing. I've, I've also announced this on uh, Ask Your Neighbor. Okay, good. I've called them a couple of times and I had a guy that called me back from La Folly Perfect. after I had called in. Oh, and by the way, I gave uh, Gabe King and, and uh, uh, D. Wilson uh, 
three or four copies the other night when I had them on the show because this show goes up there in, in Campbell County on Channel 230, and they right. said they would get a bunch of copies made and pass them out to them high school boys up there and let them take them home and have some laying around up there. They said he'd have some at his place, you know, and uh, so that's a good way to get it up there in Campbell County, and we need people from everywhere, right. you know. Uh, if they're not getting the show live and they're streaming it, we need to get them an application. Uh, while we're on here, I'd like to thank Mike Richards for his contribution, uh, sending in enough money for 20 people to sign up, and I've been using them to sign up the um, the disabled veterans yes. to give them free membership. So, Mike, thank you and appreciate his contribution. I agree with that 100 percent, Willie. Uh, I want to thank old Mike we, too. He's we've got a good attorney, Caroline Barron from uh, from Dayton. She's uh, she's our attorney, and Liz is going to be secretary. And Ronnie over here, he's going to be using the machine gun. He's going to be good. he's going to be <laughs> master along. Okay. If you, don't do, if you don't come on, join me, Cindy Master. You know, so you're going to be listening to us. Okay. Now. All right. Uh, Ronnie's going to be the muscles then. He's yeah. the muscles. Okay. All right. He's that sounds like the plan. Uh, but we do need folks. Uh, Her Herschel, I thank you for getting that on the website so people can download it and have a copy of it at home uh, and get it filled out and get it turned in. And, and, and at, at what point do you think you're going to try to get all the members to meet to where we can? Uh, I, I, here, I know it takes. pretty soon. Okay. Uh, Hopefully. Uh, I'm not caught up on my work so I can put a little bit more into this. I mean, work uh, seven days a week and um, peddling around the house and and trying to get this going Honey too. Games. Yeah, I got you about them. Uh, yeah, know all about it. Well, you know, uh, it, 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 that's that that would be a great thing if we could get everybody to show up somewhere. I don't care if it's at a boat ramp or or where there's plenty of parking and 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 uh, you know. Get them one eat, megaphone. Have eat, maybe, yeah, maybe. have a little megaphone there, and get, and but yeah, uh, you know, we, we need to get everybody together. We need to get a bunch of applications in, and get everybody signed up, and get them notified when we're going to have a meeting. Because Willie, you got the means to mail out the uh, information with their right. address and stuff. I'm sure. Uh, I'd like to thank all the members that have signed up. Appreciate their support, and. Uh, would like to thank them at this time to, for signing up and trying to get something going. All right. Sounds like a winner. Bud, you got anything? Got Come be a part of it. Come be with us. Help us. We think we're, we've got a great thing going here. And it'll, uh, it'll help our children and our children's children. If we don't do it, uh, we're doomed. Like you, you said a while ago, yeah. once it's gone, yeah, it's never gone. Get it back. Yeah. That's right. Ronnie? Either. I agree with Bud there. We need to get something done for the future generation of the young and that's coming up and things there. Okay. All right, folks, you heard it. And uh, I want to say again thanks to uh, the people up there at the Second Baptist Church there in Clinton at the Sportsman's Expo. Thank all my sponsors, uh, you know, and let them know when you go in there, miss, say, hey, tell them you appreciate them sponsoring the show, would you? Uh, I could tell you each one of them's got a, a little thing going right now. I just don't have time to do it, and they'll understand. Uh, we'll get it next week. Uh, I want to say God bless you. Hope to see you all next week. Come see you.